Right, so me and Dylan are here doing a bit of fencing. We're fencing around the back of this field. The old fence line is probably 20, 30 years old. And uh, this is the last bit of section of fencing around all the fields. So I thought I'd just show you how we're going about it. Because fencing is an expensive job. And uh, if you can get the few basic tools to do it yourself, it could save you a lot of money. So here you go, I'll show you. Yeah, so uh, I'll show you what we've got here. Dylan's showing you how the tensioner works. So we've got it tied off in this case on a little oak tree. And then it's basically just creeping along that chain and it's attached to this brace. And you can see the brace is strapped onto the fence holding it tight. And basically what it's done is it's dragged that fence the wire all the way down here. The so Dylan's knocking in the staples on that section we just pulled and I'll show you the last section here. So once we've got the pig wire on the, the sheep net in, I mean, we put a bit of barbed wire on the top and we always keep the same space in ones. And then at each junction, we've got a strainer post with a strut going from the strainer post down into the corner of the first post in the line and our um every ideally every 50 meters you'd put a strainer post but in our case here it's dipping in and out of the hedge line so actually it makes it fairly easy because we've got short sections that we can we can pull the tension on quite easily basically the further you go once you get to 50 100 meters you it's a lot of pressure to get tension on it there you go that's our bit of fencing work for today so i forgot the most essential tool is our really basic fencing tool which dylan's just going to talk you through now so basically the fencing tool has pliers as you can see by here uh you can grip the fence with and you can also do some crimping uh by here you've got the hammer so you can knock the staples in uh but here you've got the hook uh, so you can pull the staples back out if you've misplaced them and then along by here you've got snips to cut the end of the fence in wire when it comes to the end. Nice one. Thank you, Dale. That's it. No problem. Cheers. In the backwards beating weather To the end point, to the hollow To love's neighbours lost in colour